Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video. We're going to be talking about Interview with the Vampire yet again. As you guys know, the first full trailer dropped a few days ago and um, it got ratio pretty bad. It did. Actually, there's more views on it directly from AMC's YouTube channel. And I will show you that ratio, folks, because it has actually gotten even worse. But however, the primary focus of this particular video now is the show's executive producer, Mark Johnson. He made a very, very bold claim about this show that um, I don't think that the fans are going to be buying this whatsoever. Check this out, guys. Interview with the vampire showrunner on why the series is truer to the book than the movie was. Folks, I, can, I can't believe that um, he expects us to actually fall for this. Now, for one thing, guys, Anne Rice wrote the uh, screenplay for the 1994 movie. It was very, very close to the book. Now, of course, you know, you can't get everything in the book into a... Um, I believe the movie is not even two hours long. It may be actually two hours, but still a lot of stuff was actually condensed down. Uh, uh, Louis got a wife instead of um, a brother. Like in the book, uh, Babette Frenier is not in the movie. But I don't buy for one second. Based on everything we know from this show so far. That this show is going to be truer to the book than the 1994 movie. Check out the ratio now on this trailer here, folks. 2,100 thumbs up. 4,100 thumbs down. People are rejecting this Walt show. This, this is unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. He actually said this. Quote. We try to stay as true to the spirit of the book as possible, but it is very much a modern interpretation. In many ways, our show is truer to the book than the movie was, which is ironic because Anne Rice herself wrote the screenplay to the movie. Folks, this show doesn't even take place in the, ta in the same uh, time period. Now, I said a modern interpretation it looks like this show actually takes place in 1910 based on what Louis said in the trailer. Now, even though in the book, it actually starts off in 1791. Louis says in this trailer, 1910, he went from a plantation owner to a brothel owner. How in the hell are you actually more truer to the book? You got the, uh, the whole Time period completely backwards. Uh, actually, right here, Bailey Bass right here. I believe she's like almost 30 or something. She's playing Claudia. Claudia is supposed to be like five years old in the book. Now, I know Kirsten Dunst actually played her. And I believe uh, Kirsten Dunst was uh, 11 years old or something like that. 12 years old when she actually played the character. I believe it was very hard to actually get a, uh, a five year old to play that role. You know, because uh, Claudia is supposed to be an immortal that grows mentally, but not physically. But still, this man saying that um is truer to the book than the 1994 movie. Nah, bro. No. Now, the only thing I'm actually seeing this resembles the book is the way that Lestat looks. Got the blonde hair, got the eyes looking, looking right. But you race swap Louis. Louis is the main character of um, the book. You turn him into a black man. He's not black in the book. He's not black in the uh, the movie. But you did that. Unreal, guys. He also brings um something else into this too. Uh, he says, quote, it all comes down to performance. With our lead actors, we have our Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt and our Lestat and Louis are going to be so much more complete than the movie. Not because the movie did anything wrong, 
but it's only two hours and we have a lot more time than that. Now I'm going to say this. I understand what he's saying that um, based on, you know, having all of these episodes, you know, definitely longer than two hours in totality. That it should actually be more character driven. You actually learn more about the characters in a TV series than um, a, a movie. But however, guys, look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. They gave us um, six episodes, roughly like 45 minutes each episode, I would say. But however, they did a lot more damage to the characters in extended episodes than a movie, because there's actually a. um, A movie version of uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show that a fan made condensed it down, got rid of all the terrible stuff. And that two hour movie that he made is way better than the extended episodes that Lucasfilm gave us. So just because it's longer doesn't necessarily make it more complete. They can actually do a lot more damage than this. Now, here's the thing, folks. Apparently, they've already planned uh, multiple seasons because this uh, first season doesn't even cover the full book. It doesn't. He says here, we don't even meet Claudia until later in our season. Hopefully we get a second and a third to finish the book. They're not even finishing the book. You would actually think, you know, that they would finish the book in the first season. Then maybe they can move on to uh, the Vampire Lestat, Queen of the Dam, uh, Nimnoth the Devil, Tell of the Body Thief. Nah, they're not even finishing the book. This is going to be a disaster, man, a disaster. This is not going to be better than the movie. I already know that. I can tell you that for sure. I mean, Louie in the trailer. Nah, I'm not feeling that. I wasn't feeling that whatsoever. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans. They're out of their minds, man. They're out of their minds saying that this is going to be more truer to the book than the 1994 Neil Jordan movie. No way. They have messed up everything. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.